Right, yeah, folks, here we are. We are making some packaged uh, fuel. Uh, this is required for the jetpack and other purposes. Um, but right now, I just want it for the jetpack. Now, uh, this requires the fuel in empty canisters. So, to start off with, the fuel, I've just put a, 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 a refinery flip the opposite way next to this one that's creating the, these that are creating the fuel, the residual fuel, uh, and using to power the generators. So, we're just using a bit of that to go into here. Uh, I don't need a lot of the fuel. Um, I could, because I'm only needing this for jetpacks, uh, I could bring this down to say 10 per minute. And that will reduce how much fuel I'm pulling out of the uh, production line because really this is more important for power. And this is only important for jetpacks. And I'm not going to go through a lot of fuel, so uh, a 10% per minute, it's only going to use 3 megawatts instead of 30 megawatts. Uh, the other thing is canisters, it needs em empty canisters. So all I did was, we're right here where the overflow was. That's overflow. And so in the smart splitter, I'll also set overflow to go here into a constructor that's making the smart the canisters and that feeds up to there uh, and, and that's it because I, I don't all I care about is just having some fuel for the jetpack uh, so I haven't I picked some up there we go but we need some more so let's go and uh, I've already got 70 there and there we go it's a jetpack you get a nice uh, understanding of how I can change everything that I'm going to do now it's so much easier to get around and I've just got it going to a container there not generating a lot but it'll be enough just to, to top up my jetpack uh, 